I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you my dear friend. I greet you on this wonderful day. It is Christmas Eve. It is the day before Christmas and it's so good. I'm so happy to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us, our gracious God, our merciful God, and I am excited. I know like I know God is going to bless you. God is going to do something amazing and God is going to put you in the right place at the right time so that you have a date with destiny. It is so important that you meet the right people at the right time, the right doors are open so that you will make progress and you will go ahead and not fall behind in the name of Jesus. We've literally got just a few more days and then we enter into the new year and we want to prophesy and proclaim and decree and declare that we will be ready for what it will bring. And as you know, on Thursday we do special confessions or speak a declaration over you. Today I want to speak a declaration over you that you will be ready for the year 2021 and that God will bless you mightily. My dear friend, we have started an initiative here at the studio where we are trying to feed 127 families in the local area and we have set out and by the grace of God, we've already managed to give out 27 of those families food parcels. We're gonna give out another 100. Hopefully we'll finish the 100 today and we'll have finished that and got that out there. But as we go out, we are doing social distancing and we are taking every measure and every precaution because we are leaders as born again believers. We are leaders in the environment and uh, we need to set the example of how we should act and how we should go. If the doctors say wear a mask, wear a mask. Uh, don't argue with them. They're just doing their professional job and they are operating on this physical body in the way that they know best. But uh, we are spirit beings first. And we are operating in this natural realm, but we are naturally supernatural. And because of that, being ambassadors of heaven, we send the message as what children of God are like. We need to set the example. So if they say wear a mask, wear a mask. If they say walk with me one mile, walk with them one mile. If they say walk with me two miles, walk with them two miles. If they say social distance, social distance. If they say stay two meters away, stay two meters away. That is the way that we should behave. Now, the message that God dropped on my heart before I speak this declaration over you is start training for 2021. Start preparing. There's a few days left. Be prepared. Be in prayer. Speak of your life. Take the word and prophesy it over your life. Don't let the new year catch you by surprise. Be ready for anything that may come your way. Be ready in prayer and stay close to God. Be ready also physically. So my dear friend, I want to encourage you. Be ready in prayer. Pray until something happens. And don't stop there. Don't stop where something happens. Pray in advance for your life. Pray in advance for 2021, that it'll go well, that you'll fulfill that purpose and destiny, that you'll go to a greater glory, that you'll walk in the fullness of what God has for you, that you'll walk in the plans of God for your life. Be ready for anything that may come your way. Don't let this here catch you by surprise. Stay close to God. It is so important that we stay in the secret place of the Most High. It is so important that we stay covered and be ready physically. Do exercise. Keep your heart fit. Keep your body fit. Eat well. Eat what is good for your body. And God will bless you and God will take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising God. And as we discern the presence of God, then we'll begin to pray. And I'll begin to make these declarations over you and God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, we praise You. We thank You for Your grace and Your mercy that is revealed even today on Christmas Eve. We give You praise and thank You for Your grace, for Your goodness, for Your mercy, for Your love that is available to my dear friend who's watching this video. Wherever my dear friend may be watching this video, I thank You. I thank You. I thank You. I thank You for Your goodness. I thank You for Your mercy. I thank You for Your gracious love. I thank you for your protection, your divine protection, your heavenly protection. I thank you that you are going to protect my dear friend and you're going to preserve my dear friend from all evil, 
and all attacks of the devil, and nothing the enemy or his cohorts can do against my dear friend will prosper. No weapon that the enemy has fashioned against my dear friend will prosper. My dear friend will make it by your grace and by your power. We give you praise and thank you for your goodness and your mercy that is released in abundance. And right now we are going up. My dear friend is going up from glory to greater glory to greater glory. We give you praise and thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in this time period. Thank you in advance. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and thank you in advance for all that you'll do in my dear friend's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. And I know like I know as we pray today, God is going to bless you and he is going to take you up to a greater glory. Believe in God, trust him and you will go up. Believe in him, trust him and you will come out shining. Believe in him, trust him and your life will never be the same again. Now we're going to begin to pray as we go into a time of prayer. I'm going to begin by praying for you and then I'll speak these declarations. And as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out from your heart and just mean it. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and help me. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me to receive from the Father today. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend, wherever my dear friend is. As I make these special declarations today, bless, touch and change my dear friend's life. Let my dear friend be ready for what you will bring in 2021, good or bad. Whatever may happen, let my dear friend be prepared and let it not catch my dear friend by surprise. I pray this in Jesus' name. Let my dear friend be in the right place, at the right time, in the correct place, meeting the correct people, so that my dear friend will not miss out on the blessing that you have for my dear friend. I pray this in Jesus' name. I pray this over my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter, wherever they're watching, distance and time is not a barrier for you. Touch, heal, change, deliver, set free, and take my dear friend to a greater glory. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. My dear friend, I bless you. May this year coming 2021 be a year that you'll make progress. Against all odds, may you make progress so much so that your enemies will even look at you and they'll say, wow, how did this person do this? Surely this can only be God. May any weapon that the devil has fashioned against you in 2021 break now and become null and void. May any words or curses that have been spoken over your life against you and against you living on, may they be broken in the name of Jesus. May you live to see the goodness of God in the land of the living and may you taste and see of the goodness of God and may you experience the blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow, even in this year to come. May you taste of God's gracious love and mercy, and may God surround you with good things. May goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life, even in this year to come. May you be ready in prayer, may you be ready in your position in the Spirit, may you be positioned very close to God, and may you be ready also physically. May your health be good, may your body be strong, and may you make it through any trial that can come up against you. Remember, my dear friend, do not be afraid of the one who can kill the flesh but can't kill the spirit, but rather be afraid of the one who after killing the flesh can also kill the spirit. That is scripture. Be afraid of God. He is the only one we should fear. Fear God and trust Him. Don't fear these earthly things that happen. They can't harm you and destroy or do anything more than they've been given permission to do. And God will preserve you. He will not let you go through anything that is too hard for you to handle. He will give you grace in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare this in Jesus' name. May God's grace be sufficient for your family. May God's grace surround you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you go, may God guide your steps so that you are protected even in this new year. 
in Jesus name receive it in Jesus name receive blessings in Jesus name receive open doors in Jesus name receive that change that you're desiring in your life in the name of Jesus Christ receive a total turnaround and a change for the better in Jesus mighty name may you taste and see of the goodness of God in the land of the living all the days of your life in Jesus mighty name amen and amen my dear friend you are blessed and you cannot be cursed you're blessed to go up and you're blessed to succeed and you're blessed to prosper in Jesus mighty name until tomorrow for myself evangelist Gabriel Fernandez I'll see you for a special Christmas message God bless you and goodbye this is evangelist Gabriel Fernandez I'm actually driving home as you can see behind me at the back of this vehicle I've got some food hampers you can see them right there at the back um, and uh, what we're doing is we're going to try our best by the grace of God to feed 127 families that do not have food for Christmas um, as you can see I'm wearing my mask and I've been practicing social distancing I encourage you to do the same there's news going around of a new strain of this virus that's very infectious so I want to encourage you my dear friend be safe social distance wear your mask sanitize your hands keep clean and just play it safe God doesn't want us to go out and try and prove his protection for us he protects us and he keeps us safe but he also requires something from us we must look after ourselves now we're gonna go out and we're gonna look after those people who are in a situation right now because of the virus and uh, they don't have any food for Christmas we're gonna put something on their table thank you my dear friend for being a part of this God bless you and God be with you enjoy the rest of the video okay so I'm here we've just dropped off the first batch of uh, food parcels for uh, the, the, the people who would need uh, food for Christmas in this time of the year as you can see there's some more hampers behind me I'm just going to show you exactly what's in them and we're going to the next stop to drop off the next five and uh, tomorrow we're going to receive um, another hundred of them the total that we're going to give out is 127 um, I'm sorry if there's any noise wind noise up here but uh, as I'm wearing my mask I encourage you to also wear your mask and uh, practice good social distancing if you want to do anything do it outside with there's a lot of wind and maintain a distance of at least two meters between you and other people remember there's a new strain that's going around and it's very contagious so you want to take all the precautions to protect your loved ones okay so I'm here and we've just dropped off another five sorry about that bell in the background um, it's just reminding me that I need to put on my seatbelt which I will just now uh, we've dropped off another five for another five families in one of the local churches and uh, God is gonna bless them they're gonna be happy at least they will have something to eat this Christmas purchasing the next hundred we had purchased 27 today this vehicle is a bit small to actually carry all hundred so we could only carry a maximum of 27 but uh, when we were paying for the next hundred to finish the 127 families that will feed uh, for this year uh, Christmas um, what happened was the machine automatically discounted us and I was just blown away. Even the manager was blown away. He was wondering, what? Did you ring up the correct number? He was asking the cashier the whole time. And um, he was just blown away that we were given a discount and we're doing the work of God. You know, he never expected that. I never expected it. Uh, these things are already discounted as, the, as they are because uh, they're also um, beneficial uh, to the bigger companies. They want to give out uh, also to the families who uh can't afford to have food in this time period so they discounted as much as possible and in that way that's the way they give back to the community but anyways uh we've got another hundred that will be arriving tomorrow and uh we're going to give those out to various different pastors who are going to go to their church members uh deep in the local areas in uh south africa port elizabeth and they're going to give out those food parcels. Thank you so much for being part of the team. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And God bless you. God be with you. God's grace be around you all the time. I will have a video for you to continue with tomorrow's part of this video. Thank you and God bless you. 
Okay, so these are the last of the food baskets we've got uh, for today. Uh, we're going to drop them off right now. I just want to quickly show you what comes in them. Uh, so it comes with maize meal, which is a staple here in Africa. It comes with uh, fusion concentrate, which is a cool drink. It's better than nothing. It comes with bull brand uh, corn meat, uh, 300 grams. It comes with uh, first value baked beans and tomato sauce. Um, that's one of them. It also comes with uh, quite a few other things you can see. And by the grace of God, uh, we bought them from the store and we're just gonna give these out and just make uh, Christmas nice for families who don't have money to actually enjoy Christmas. Already we've blessed about 15 families and uh, one extra and uh, we're going up to a greater glory by the grace of God. We're gonna give out these and we're gonna give out more tomorrow. God bless you, my dear friend, and I'll see you again tomorrow. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.